Well, the very best is what we expect from Delta State Government as they host the second edition of the sister of the the sixth edition, of course, of the Chief of Naval Championship. It's the second time Delta State will be hosting it. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a good one, really. And uh, hopefully uh, we're able to actually um, discover some talent as well so they can uh, represent the country in, in future. Just in Africa? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, no yeah, Olympics, yeah. no come away yeah, games. Yeah, coming to that now, it's a shame, really, that after all these years now, yes. uh, like, like you said, um, they, 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 the swimmers won't be in, in Glasgow because they're not up to standard. So it's a shame that after all these years now, we still haven't been able, we, we haven't gotten to that stage where we're starting to compete um, yeah. at the highest level in swimming, like some other African countries like South Africa, like um, Zimbabwe, and the likes. It's a shame, really, we have water everywhere in this country. Yes. There's water everywhere. There's water on the road. Even on the road, there's, there's water on the, everywhere. So I, I don't get it. It's a shame, really. Yeah, they, 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 they really need to, and the administrators um, of the sport, they really need to um, look step, into yeah, it again. Yeah, they need to step um, the level up a notch higher, definitely. Yeah, I remember a 13 year old girl from Togo actually competed, you know, <laughs> at the last Olympics. But in Nigeria, you don't really have something like that. Okay. And from swimming, I'll we'll move straight to the big one, which is the ban. You know, updates coming from. Uh, coming from the glass house is the fact that, well, Nigerian government delegation, of course, they actually presented the position to FIFA, alleging monumental fraud against Amina Megari, mm -hmm. led board, and all that. And, of course, the FIFA insisted that the board must be reinstated. Of course, uh, the Plato High Court uh, that actually, you know, come up with a ruling, you know, said it must be lifted. You know, that's, that's what came up from uh, FIFA, of course, the last time they went to see FIFA. FIFA also write the sports minister that NFF elective AGM that's in August should also decide the fate of Aminu Megari, the administration, of course, and FIFA insists that July 5th, FIFA, uh, NFF Congress in Abuja is null and void. And also FIFA extend the deadline for the restatement of the board and vacation of court order from July 15 to 17 owing to the ongoing strike action in judicial workers, which is really a huge one. Of course, we still have like two days. So today, the sports minister will be meeting with President Golok Jonathan to fine tune what will happen. So we have just after today, today, we have Wednesday and the deadline is on the 17th. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Hopefully, there's really nothing much to say yeah. here. They just have to do the right thing of now. Course. It is very clear what FIFA wants and from them. So hopefully they get it done in two days now. So the Falcon it and can actually go and represent the country. We're starting to feel the the, the, the negative impact, impact of this thing yes. already. Because I heard um, Linus Mba yes. yeah, was supposed to be a match commissioner. That's been taken off him as well. All the, Cyril, yeah, all because of this. Yeah. It's not a good one at all. So NFF, get your house in order. Nigerian football, Nigerian sports in general, they need to get the house in order. So um, so we, we, we can start playing football right. again. I gotta say, if the worst comes to worst, and um, they ban Nigeria from playing any kind of football, then we still have Channel's Kids Cup. They can't touch that. Yeah, definitely, we have that. And another one is the Golden yeah. Eagle. They expect to fly out of the country tomorrow well, for the, the game against the uh, Congo DR, and that's still another one. Well, I just hope that the meeting between the minister and, of course, presidency will be very, very fruitful. Yeah. And, of course, by Thursday, the ban, or even before Thursday, ban yeah, lifted. Yeah. It's got to be a productive <laughs> meeting, no doubt about that. Definitely, definitely. Okay, now, there is one man, well, who is really the hottest guy right now <laughs> <laughs> in the transfer market. I'm oh, talking oh, about this man who, well, through no fault of his, of course, I'm yeah. talking about Ogeyo Nazi. Well, actually, his volley was just so much, the shot was so hot that he had to break his shoulders. But at the end of the day, he is a wanted man all over Europe. Yeah, good one for this young lad there. One of those players when the list was announced and everyone like, who's, who's Michael Babatana? And you're like, who's, who's this guy? <laughs> yeah, one of those guys, but talk about taking um, taking your chances when yes. you have them. That's what he did when he came on, came in and played that game against um, Bosnia. Uh, I, th I thought he, he, he put in a very um, decent display. Perform. It's good to see clubs after him now. He plays in Ukraine, 21 years old. I think he should really be in, in Central Europe, like way in Holland. And, um, England and, and the likes, and it's good to see the latest um, club um, in for him now. According to the reports, is um, Stoke City uh, in England as Preston well. Preston Sunderland, yeah. We heard of Shark. Shark as well, yeah. yeah. All these things, yeah. They might all the reports and all that, but then it's still it's good to see his name um, yes. being linked um, to all these clubs. He's a very good player. He can't take so that. So if he wants to play in the English Premier League, all he had to do is to talk to his agent. I mean, uh, Edison Cavani, yeah. some time ago, reports said he instructed it. his agent, look, that's look for it. a club for that's me in the Premier League. That's where I want to play. 
I think you should do that. I'm not paying all that money. Get me a club in England or something. It's good, but seriously, good one. Hopefully, he, uh, he recovers uh, fully uh, from that injury so he can start the praises the um, on time as well yeah. too, because that might delay uh, his season. So hopefully, he's um, fully fit and ready to go by the time the European season starts. Keith has our expectations. Of course, from that, I'll move straight to uh, the Federation Cup. Of course, the round of 16 starting on uh, Thursday, okay, these are the fixtures on your screen. You have Aimba and Nimbe City. They'll be playing in Akure. Shark Support Accord and Dynamite FC will also be in action. And you have Crown FC, Nassau United. Then Better Insurance, they're still there. And Giwa FC and Lobby Stars and Play 2 FC will also be in action for the last system of the Federation Cup. Economy Warriors and Dolphins, that's a big one in Lafayette, Nassau State. Baisa United and Gateway City will be in action. Abuja, uh, First Bank and Prime FC will be in action in Benin City. Okay, basketball now, where the playoffs started at the weekend. Of course, on Sunday, which was the big one, you know, kind of pillars, of course, they were able to, you know, tr continue, you know, the run up. Remember, they actually won uh, the Savannah Conference, of course, the top the table but for yesterday we have the results of course of the final eight day two you have the Oluyole Warriors and Islanders Oluyole Warriors looking losing their second game in a row they lost the first one to Mark Matters right now they lost to Islanders by 63 to 43 and of course you have a kind of pillars and a play to picks it was 93 53 uh, you have uh, Gombe Bulls and Mark Matthews. Mark Matthews, of course, continuing their winning streaks uh, to 76-58 and Union Bank 52-65 against Northern Warriors. This was actually the result that were played, you know, uh, they won the very first result that were decided. Of course, uh, today you also have uh, some other teams will be in action today and uh, you have um, Union Bank and Play to Picks will be in action. Uh, Oli Oli Warriors and Gumbi Bulls will also be in action and uh, Islanders and Mark Matthews will be playing Dodder Warriors and Cannon Peelers will be in action. Dodder Warriors and Cannon Peelers, I think that's the biggest match we really need to look forward to for today's uh, fixtures. Okay, moving straight to athletics and of course, well, one man, I mean, he will be returning to sports so soon. He was banned for 18 months. Right now, cast Court of Arbitration for Sports and reduced it to six months and the six months already Last, of course, the uh, CAS Secretary General Matthew Reeb actually explained the reason why it was, but they said the details will be published in two weeks' time. Let's get to listen to Matthew Reeb. has partially upheld the appeal of Azafa Powell. Um, the uh, CAS has decided to reduce the suspension which was imposed by the Jamaican uh, anti-doping panel from 18 months to 6 months. Uh, it means that the athlete is now free to compete. He was already free to compete since the 18th of June uh, because the CAS had granted a stay of the suspension. The reasons uh, for this award will be communicated only in a few weeks in writing. Uh, there was some urgency for the CAS to rule on the appeals of Azafa Powell because uh, he wanted to know whether he could compete this summer or not. So the outcome has been given today and the reasons will follow in a few weeks.